Hello, Mia. How are you guys doing? This is your reading. Okay. Okay, I'm just going to clear the energy really quick. So Leo, I am actually doing this on the day of the solar eclipse. I did a reading yesterday and I mistakenly said yesterday that I was doing the reading during the solar eclipse. But the eclipse was today. I knew that. I don't know what happened. But still the energy is strong for like three days before, three days after. And the changes are not necessarily immediate. The impact that it has will carry over into next year. Um, but that doesn't mean that you won't see results soon, right? So, okay. Let's see what this solar eclipse is bringing for you. Okay. Some of you may feel like a really heavy energy, just exhausted in general, or um, like you want to kind of pull back your energy a little bit and you want to be isolated. That's not going to last. It's just about protecting your energy at this time because you're an overgiver. The Leos can overgive. When you have the sun being blocked by the moon, there's not as much to give, right? This could also bring about for some of you something that began during another one of the eclipses. And it doesn't have to be a solar one either. It could be a lunar eclipse. Yeah, so I'm getting that message too. Something could be coming back around for some of you. Okay, so let's see. <sighs> golden egg. You've been getting this golden egg the past, um, like every time I use this deck. In a reading you get the golden egg and now it's showing up as the first card so now this is something that is ready now golden signifying abundance something being fruitful something being ready for you a new opportunity that you have created you may have created it as began it as far back as April of this year or even before then. In the spring. And now it's going to come to fruition in the fall. Eagle. The eagle makes things happen. The eagle stands strong. The eagle represents, you know, liberty. Your own liberty to do something. And it's like, you know, eagles being extinct. There is something to be said about people think that there's nothing coming out here for you. Or people like forgot about you and what it is that you have to offer. People don't know what it is that you are. And it's like, yeah, I'm the eagle. You know what I mean? Like you have something prominent that you stand out. But it's like an endangered species. So it's kind of like there's not a lot of your kind. There's not a lot of people that understand you. But now they're going to see. It's like to see a eagle is a rare occurrence you are a rarity and you're going to 
present the world, show the world with this golden egg card. Be ready to show the world what it is that you have to offer. It's time now. There may be a lot of darkness around, but you're a source of light. Undeniably a source of light. There's something here that you're going to share. I'm going to clarify this with Tarot, but I want to get two more cards. Unicorns. When I say you're one of a kind, rare, a unicorn, like out of this world. There's something that you're doing that's big. It matters big time. It's important. It's making something possible that's impossible. It's something that is a dream. Unicorns also represent dreams. So this is a dream of yours. And it's like there's nobody else like you. You, you may not get along with other people. Other people didn't see this magical quality in you, you know. They're going to see it now. Okay, I wanted one more. Someone may be trying to charm you here. When all those cards flipped over, the card on top was the cobra. And the cobra could be enchanted by music and stuff. So someone who's trying to entice you with other things, but what are they actually saying? What are they actually doing? What's actually happening as a result? You know, it's like somebody who talks this really sweet talk and everything, and they kind of pull you with their funness and their laughter, but really their actions are not building anything. So you may have another person come back in and try that, but I feel like you're going to catch it like that. Look at this. The snake and the turtle came out together. I want to clarify these big time. But this snake card is kind of like showing me that you're seeing, you have mastered the tricks of the snake. The snake can no longer trick you in any way. You're seeing the tricks of the snake. Look at how we have the earthworm at the bottom of the deck. And like, oh, that's a snake? No, you're not a snake. You're an earthworm. Go back in the ground. <laughs> and it's like the earthworm comes out when it rains and the ground. Look, you have the lion. You're standing strong in your energy at this time and nobody can come close to you. This is the energy of somebody else, I feel like, who's trying to come in. And we're going to clarify that. But the earthworm, you know, they come out because their home has been flooded. And so this is why they come out of the ground. And then it has been raining. You see a bunch of worms on the sidewalk because they were drowned if they stayed in the earth. And so then they have to make their way back down to the soil. So this is somebody who is coming around because there's something not right in their life. So this is why they're reaching back out to you. And that's not, you know... That's not what you're here for. You're not just here just to support people whenever they feel like coming around and then leaving again. No, that's not it. You know, the turtle carries their home on their back. So self-sufficiency, you want someone who's self-sufficient. So this turtle is slow moving, but, they're, you know, when they're coming towards somewhere, they come with their whole everything that they have to offer. It's right there. You know what I'm saying? And they're very strategic with their movements and it's something because it takes them so long to get to a place. They're all in. They're all in. So that may fit for a particular person that you have coming in because there's somebody else that has this snake energy and you see it. You see how this person is not a genuine person. You see how this person is trying to play something, but it's almost like you mastered that level and then the next level in this game, which it's not a game, but you know what I mean? It's like showing me a video game. They may like video games, or maybe you do. It's a turtle. And this turtle, it's taking a long time to come to you, but it's genuine. 
and it's real and it's all in kind of an energy here um and well adapting as well because these kinds of turtles you know they can go on land they can go in the water um you know they can be a lot of different places they're they, they can travel around they can have one home where they stay at this one pond for their entire lives you know okay let's clarify this right well, you, you know you have a golden opportunity here for you and spirit is like yeah take it because you see how this eagle is swooping down to grab something so it's like, yeah, there's an opportunity coming up for you. And Spirit was like, take the opportunity. <laughs> Believe in the own magic of who you are. Some of you may feel like, oh, am I good enough for this opportunity? Am I skilled enough to take this opportunity? Am I qualified enough? And Spirit is like, when we put an opportunity out there for you, go for it. This is, this now is the time. Um, you're standing really strong in your own power at this time. And you're fully aware with this bat card. You're fully aware of, you know, bats know what's going on. They know what's up. They know who is where everywhere. You know, what you're going to do before you're about to do it. Their senses are on point. So, this is something that you're, it's like this energy of being pulled to Set back and watch. And then when you feel a pull, go forward. Okay, so let's clarify this eight. <sighs> you have the devil on the tower and the nine of swords. Suddenly something. You're going to have a sudden solution to a problem there's something here that's not right I feel like for a lot of you you know what it is it's multiple things and you know what these things are and this is something that you're tired of and you're wanting to get out of and spirit just kind of comes in BAM with the solution and it solves kind of a lot of different problems in a lot of different areas. There is something that you're realizing, patterns or habits that you had, where you were doing some sort of uh, toxic behavior um, to kind of cope with different things in your life for quite some time for some of you for years uh for some of you for a lifetime the things that you had gone through and you had put up with but there is a sudden change because you are realizing those things you're cutting those things out and you're releasing a burden here and spirit is like moving you somewhere else look at the pool you have a new beginning here. You have an opportunity for a whole new beginning that is coming in to you. This feels like a work opportunity where you may get to move, you may get to travel, but you're doing something completely different than what you're doing now. Your day-to-day -day is different and you're not gonna have the opportunity to surround yourself with the same people that you have been surrounding yourself with. You're not going to be able to do the same things that you used to do anymore. But it's a blessing for, you, for that to happen. There's something that you care a lot about. 
something here with this golden egg that you care so much about something happening. And Spirit wants you to know this is going to happen. You know, with this Tower and the Fool card, this is a beautiful energy. Because this is you listening and following the direction of Spirit. And starting new. There's a pull towards something new and a push away from uh, toxic people and a lifestyle that you used to engage in in some capacity that's changing and you're not involving yourself in it anymore not even on an energetic level um and so it it just feels um very sudden that you're gonna kind of look back and go whoa my whole life is completely different in a good way but it feels like just sudden it just feels sudden but it's like you've wait with the nine of swords it's like you've been waiting for this and asking for this for a long long time but then when it happens it's happening rather quickly but i feel like you also adjust to it rather quickly and you'll surprise yourself in that you have the hermit card with the eagle this could be an opportunity with a Virgo person. It doesn't have to be. Um, we have Scorpio, Capricorn, and Aries here. I feel like a lot of you had to let go of a Scorpio, Capricorn, Aries, Virgo. Um, maybe all of those. You went within, you did some healing here, and there was still some disappointment because you healed yourself, but you tried to go back to old people, old patterns of living, to doing old things, old circumstances that didn't fit your new vibration. And so you just felt very, very out of place or have been because there is a new way for you. There is a new path and spirit is going to reveal that to you. So the disappointment that you've been having is a good thing because there is a better path for you that has everything that you want on it. And it's a quick opportunity that's coming in that you're just going to go for. And I feel like for a lot of you, this can be something that other people are not going to understand or maybe want you to do because this feels like something for some of you could be like extreme as like packing everything up in storage and I'm going to go live over here now with this job. And... You know, it's like you quickly come up with a plan and you're like getting it in motion. But I feel like there's people that want to nudge you to wait and to be cautious and not to trust in the circumstance. Look at this nine of wands. This is exactly what this person is doing. Don't trust it. Don't trust it. That's what they're saying. That's what I feel like what these other people are saying. But I feel like there is a voice inside. Look at this. You're enlightened. And look at the magician. You are manifesting this clarity moving forward. And so I feel like you do take a, even though it comes in sudden, you do take a bit of a pause and you're like, this is right for me. It doesn't matter if it makes sense to everybody else. And that's true. Screw everybody else. You got to jump on this opportunity because you know what? This is your dream. This is a dream. And this is clarifying the unicorn. The star and the unicorn. I mean, can it, does it get any more magical than that? There is something here that you have that's a dream here that you're going to take to the next level with this Hierophant card. And you will have the clarity to make the right decision. When the time comes, you will know what to do. That's what that King of Swords is telling me right there. This could lead to a commitment as well. For some of you, you're going to meet somebody on the road or following this dream in some capacity that could be a way that you're going to meet someone um and this person just seems like a person that is a risk taker but they're sure of themselves and they make a plan and then they go for it and they follow through but they are also willing to be spontaneous and this is how they have lived a lot of life um, so this is the kind of person that likes to go on adventures and they are adventurous. This is not necessarily what the King of Swords represents. It's just the energy that I'm getting off of the card. 
feels like this person, you know, once they make up their mind about something, that's it, they're going to do it. So when they say something, they stick to their word. They hold that bond. And for a lot, like, for a lot of these people, it's like they have a difficulty with, they said that once they say someone is a friend or is a this or is a that, they have to uphold a certain level of obligation to this person, even if that person is not doing the same back. And they get tangled, have gotten tangled up in obligations in the past in their life. Um, and I feel like this is somebody who is... They're craving a connection the way you are. You want a magical connection. You want the whole thing and the fairy tale. You know, with this with this unicorn card here. You want that fairy tale. And if you explain this person on paper to other people, they don't get it. And they want to avi advise you against it. But here's the thing. They don't have to get it. It's not about them. And that's what spirit wants you to know is to focus on yourself and your journey um because there's a there's a big wish here that you have that you're going to be able to make happen spirit is going to give you that opportunity and it's going to bring a lot of abundance and joy into your life and it's going to bring about this new person that also has this kind of free spirit that you have about you um but i feel like there are people that are going to be like trying to pull you down with this connection look at this four of cups some people just don't, they feel like this is too good to be true. And they feel like there's, there are people that are, there are people that look for red flags and then there are people that look for green flags. And it's like, who do you want to be? How do you want this to go? You know, because if you come in kind of attacking someone already, some people are just, um, they settled in their life. They're maybe not as happy as you might think that they are or they portray. And that's fine. That's their journey. But you want it all. <laughs> and you can have it all. And some people think that you can't have it all. And that's why they don't have it all. Um, and you are going to have it all. So spirit wants you to know that, to believe in miracles because you are making some sort of a miracle happen, something that matters to you. It's like one in a million chance. I'm going to be that one in a million. What's this song? I always thought I was going to be that one in a million. I always had a feeling. Is that like Fall Out Boy or something? Or... like a boy band and you're gonna do that you're gonna have a story like that where you're like yeah I told this person that I wanted this like jokingly but secretly I really did want it and I believed in it and I just like lived my life in joy and I followed these impulses and I didn't tell things to other people because I knew they were going to judge me and now look at where I am. You're going to be able to tell this story to other people and that's something that you deserve here with this judgment card. I'm getting a lot of like reciprocity where it was like, you know, you are always this dreaming sort of person and when you shared your dreams with other people they could have laughed at you and the dream never came to be so it was like ha ha look at you for dreaming you know what I mean um but what you didn't know is is at that time is how your vibration worked and how you can make yourself uh match to the frequency that you are wanting to attract into your life so if you make yourself a vibrational match to what it is that you are wanting it's coming to you and that's what you're doing and what you are attracting is something really really magical and that's not something a lot of other people have the vibrational match to but they don't need to you don't need anybody else to believe it you just have to believe it see it and feel it as if it is already existing because it's happening and it's something really big and it's something that spirit wants you to continue to go for and when i had first said that i saw two four 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 on the clock look up angel number two four 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 
for an added message if you would like. You're doing something amazing here. And this is something that's going to transform your entire life here. Big time. You have everything. Seeing that Queen of Wands tells me you already have everything that you need to do this. And for some of you, there are people that you have known that passed on and they are helping you. You have already asked them for help and guidance and they are helping you. And they will give you signs and clues and synchronicities to show you that they are helping you. Okay, let's see about this snake. Nine of Cups and the Ace of Cups. You know, you're focusing on what it is that you want and you're focusing on real love. So a person coming back, if they're not offering you real love, um, for some of you, this person is not even going to be able to get in to get this offer to you. So you just may um, see things that remind you of this person, hear other people say phrases that remind you of this particular person. You meet someone and they almost have the same name as that person, um, or you, they do have the same name, something like that. Or you see like the name of the street that they live on or something like that. But for some of you, this person is gonna try to come back in. But for a lot of you, I feel like you're so focused on your own joy and your own happiness that there is no way that this person has a chance of coming back in because there is no going back to the old you. That like This is like the Knight of Cups in reverse or the Knight of Pentacles in reverse because it's like you can try to come in all you want, but <laughs> I'm not the same person that I used to be. So you're trying to attract me and that person that you're trying to attract doesn't exist anymore. I'm somebody else now. You're finding your happiness in your work, in your day-to-day -day life, things that you are doing. You're having this joy in your day-to-day -day life, okay? And so this is why you're so in love with every second of this existence. You're focusing so much on your own vibration, on what it is that you are manifesting, what it is that you're creating, what it is that you're making. You're focusing and enjoying every single moment as much as you can. So it's like this person can't even get to you if they wanted to. You have the High Priestess card. The High Priestess card is mute. So it's like, yeah, she can get messages from people, but you can't like just go up to the High Priestess. You know what I mean? She's not just going to talk to you. No, but she knows all. She gets all these downloads and everything. So it's like, yeah, you're getting the messages from this person, but I feel like they cannot even get to you. Okay, and there is something here. You have the Magician, the Four of Cups, and the Two of Cups. So there was some sort of a disappointment here in a situation. You wanted something to come together, and then there's like this disappointment, and you are manifesting from that. You're like, okay, I wanted a connection to come and be equal give and take. I didn't see this opportunity coming to me. It looks like it didn't happen, so I'm just going to use that to manifest more. You're literally saying to yourself, oh, I am being faced right now with an unwanted circumstance. As much as it might hurt or pain you, I know what I don't want. Therefore, I know what I do want. And I am going to manifest that. And I'm going to trust that this universe is going to bring me someone that has an equal give and take kind of love, a beautiful friendship, a partnership here that's going to stand the test of time. And I'm not going to allow myself to be jaded. I'm not going to let myself be hurt by the past. That's not happening. That's not how this is going to go. No. So you're getting some sort of a reciprocity from a love that never came in. 
two of swords. It was blocked. That love didn't come in. It was blocked. A decision was not made. No, it needs to be made. That's just the decision that needs to be made. And now you have the Knight of Cups. So now you have somebody coming forth. Now you have the Knight of Pentacles. And now you have the Four of Wands. And now you have the Empress. And now you have the Ace of Wands. So now you have a new opportunity for yourself. You're expanding in your world. You're abundant, okay? You have new opportunities coming towards you. Everything is playing out the way, maybe not the way that you thought, but it's going, it's, things are happening. And you're going to start to see the results of your own manifestation and you're going to see yourself as becoming more and more stable on your own, being able to live a more luxurious life in the way that you have been wanting to for quite some time. You're going to be able to do something every single day that is something that would make you feel like an empress. It's something that you want to do. It doesn't even feel like work, but you're also bringing in money. So this is something that you have wanted for quite some time here. And then you have two offers coming in. Two. One, I feel like it's from a past person who is going to try to manipulate you in some sort of a way. Another is from a person that they're coming in slower. Okay. Um, but they're coming in, in a, from a genuine place. And this is something that they really want. And they want to take the steps towards building something that's going to last a lifetime. And they come, sh you know, and like this person, you know, with this turtle energy, they have everything with them. So they already are established. It's not somebody who needs all of those things. It's someone who's very open, who's very honest. Someone who takes their time revealing themselves, they're not all in right away. You know, the snake person wants to be with you every second of every day. You know, they want to stay and never leave. But then once they do go, you know, you can't trust where it is that they're going and what are their reasons for staying. They're a little bit too open all at once, you know. And then there could be some love bombing there. There could be some breadcrumbing there where they give you a, a few little things right away. They're really funny. They know how to make little jokes. They know how to switch the mood around. But are you ever really getting to know them? You know, it's like when you take a break and you step back away from this person and you tell this about them to somebody else, they have all these questions and you like don't have the answers to them, but they're normal questions to be asked. You know what I mean? For this person, you know, this is excitement that's building. It's more of a slow burn energy, um, but it's something that's going to last a lifetime. So spirit wants you to hold, like not hold back your energy, but wait for the right time with this three of wands card to move forward. And keep your energy to yourself and slowly but surely reveal it to you, to, uh, you know, this other person here. You have the chariot card. Yeah, because there's going to be no blocks going forward, um, but it's okay to let things take time and build over time. You know, that's the healthy way. If you, you're going to build something and you rush through building it and you just use whatever materials you can find and it's like, you know, not the best material and, you know, let's just do this. Let's just do it because they don't care about it lasting. You know, it's just too fast. This other one is, it's taking some time, you know, yeah, it takes some time to import all the right materials and to plot out how things are going to go. But when you're done, you have a, a structure, an environment that you can, you know, live in for the rest of your life, you know, versus something that will fall. And that's what it is. It's just, you, you're learning how to build something that's going to last. And you have built some things that were, would last before, but you were the only one building. And the other person was taking. That's the snake energy. You were the only one really contributing. And they were putting on a show, but it was an illusion. They're not really contributing, right? And so it's like, you see how the snake is like biting its own tail? It's like you just let them put their own foot in their mouth, you know. They're talking and talking. It's this energy of just looking, listening, observing, having an observant energy, right? 
There's nothing wrong with that because people are going to show you who they really are. And this is something that you are learning that you deserve. You know, you love yourself and you have self-respect and you want to build something with other people who respect themselves and respect you because that's the way that you are. So that's what is, you know, this is a new opportunity for this at this time. Yeah, and people are going to, there's something here. Some of you may move even with this chariot card. You may have the opportunity to move. This may be a person that lives at a distance from you and spirit is wanting you to know. Yeah, look at the six of swords. Some of you are going to move because of this person. Um, you're going to want to move to be closer to them or they're going to want to move to be closer to you. But it's like, it's going to happen naturally. It's not something that needs to be you know, forced or rushed. Okay, so let's see. Let's see a little bit more. Separation, sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning, unsure of the future. Phoenix, new phase, rekindle, renew, transformation, growth, change, mind. You're going through this transformation here. There's a person that's trying to come back. And in this separation, they have realized how great it is that you are and how they want this. They want this to come back together here. I mean, you have a phoenix, you have a golden egg, you have a unicorn here. How magical is this? This is a magical time for you. You're creating magical things into your life. And this past person, they try to come back just when you get back on your feet. Not happening. The runner. Runner is a codependent relationship, fear of intimacy, listening to the ego. This person, you know, this past snake person is somebody that you may have thought was your twin flame. They may be, they may not be. I'm getting this energy that you are done. Done, done, done with this energy. And you are focusing, pulling your energy on yourself, on your own dreams and aspirations and making them a reality. And, you know, with this Empress energy, you're doing things here. You're doing things here. And so that is what is pulling somebody towards you here. Because you're no longer looking, looking for something. That's how that works with the twin flame energy, right? Coffin. Endings bring new beginnings, growth, change, liberation, transition. I said liberation with the eagle card. Something is coming to an end with a particular person and it's allowing for a new beginning somewhere else. And you deserve that 100 percent you got talking interested conversing more awaited message that arrives text call email that's hovering and then you have i like you someone likes you romance is blooming fun flirting want to date bottom of the deck heart with the key Welcome, love, meeting the one, open your heart, getting together, perfect. So this is building here. You separated from someone, you healed yourself. They're trying to come back in and play games. No, I'm done with that, okay? Now you start talking to somebody new and they tell you that they like you and now you have the heart with the key. So you see how it builds? Whereas with the other person, it's very immediate. You know, they just, they just want to grab you right now. Let's be together every single second from the time that we meet. You know, and it's like, it's not building on a healthy foundation. So you're learning to do that. And I feel like you didn't have an example of that in your life. You didn't have an example of a healthy relationship. And you had to kind of be everything an adult, um, even as a child. And so, you know, you had a lot of relationships where you had to, you know, you overgave and you fixed everything and the whole thing. And now you finally have fixed yourself to the point where you're ready for the real thing. And the real thing is coming for you. Wow. 
This is beautiful. Let me see. Get a couple more. The bridge. Something's coming together here. Somebody is reaching out. This could be overseas as well. Some of you are going to travel and meet someone and, you know, things are going to change from there. And it feels like wanted. This is something that you're wanting and in need of. It would be great to have like a new, just a new phase here, a new chapter here that's not like the old chapters. We have the ocean. Some of you are going to travel across the ocean. You may move closer to the ocean. Have an opportunity to go travel with someone and see the ocean. That is something that you're... Sorry. Every card fell out. That you're absolutely deserving of here. Wow. Okay. Tear and agape. Agape is love. That's what that card means. You know, tear. I, I feel like this is something that you have wanted for a long, long time. There is something that you have really wanted for a long, long time. And for some of you, there was another, there, like, you could be emotional. And this person, the person that you were with never comforted you when you were crying, never understood what it is to be there with someone who has been through something and this person is going to show love when you're crying when there is a tear there is love there that's how they respond to it whereas before i feel like people would almost even yell at you when you were crying and that's just not you couldn't share your emotions you could also be crying tears of joy i mean this is something that is building into something really big here And just the way that this card in the ocean, it's like an eye inside of the ocean. There's an eye, and then there's an eye right here. Which is really the ocean is like this. So that's the eye. Wow. So this could have for a lot of you be a water sign. You got the bridge card here. So that could be a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. It does not have to be. Um... But there is someone that is helping you heal, finish the healing that you have done. And you're doing the same for them. I feel like it's also something that you can like watch rom-coms with. Or there's some kind of a hobby that you could do with this person that you couldn't do with past people. There's someone that's responding in a healthy way to things. The way that you respond in a healthy way to things. We have river here too. Yeah, there's a movement here. The two of you are going to move. You're going to travel together. I feel like that's something that's going to bring you a lot of joy. There's a lot of healing in this connection. This person is a healer. You're a healer. Together, you're healers healing each other. When you reach your hand out, there's going to be another hand there. They're going to reach their hand out too. And you were always the one reaching out and nobody reached back. That's what's changing here. And somebody is not just going to see the one drop that you are of sadness. They're going to see the whole ocean of your being. This is really beautiful. I feel like this is very poetic and romantic energy. Wow. Okay. This is something that you deserve. Okay. 4402 again. Didn't I see twos and fours earlier? Something. I don't know. Okay. Angel number 4402. Can look it up for an added message if you would like. I'm going to pull some letters. Okay. We have T. C. G. E. N. V and Y. Okay. 
okay this is what i have for you thank you so much leo if the video resonated for you if you want to like or subscribe i would greatly appreciate it also i have a book it's called one light it's available on amazon and it's all about manifesting and using the law of attraction to create the life of your dreams thank you so much and i hope i see you next time